Come to me, Kois. We have a bunch of Koi already in our little kiddie pool. Um, I wanted to give these guys a little bit of shade. Hello, hello, babies, hello. Look at this. Oh my, three, two, one. Oh my. What's up, Raw fam? So we're over here at, you know, obviously the Raw fam. I'm in front of my house and we just had an epic delivery. Those of you guys may know, we went to Japan a couple months ago and picked out some gorgeous koi. We're gonna start bringing it in. You see all of these koi, Camo? Come to me, Kois. We have a bunch of koi already in our little kiddie pool. Hey, you know what? Why don't you let the rookies be rookies? So we're back here at the Raw Fam, and guess what just showed up? The last remaining koi that I actually bought in Japan. They're actually right here. I'm not too sure which one is in which box. Dude, which one do you think is in here, bub? No, he's just trying to kiss my face. Didn't you just lick your butt? Okay, go away, butt licker. Go, go away, go away. <laughs> so of course, Raw Fam, we have these beautiful koi inside of these boxes now. I'm honestly not too sure what koi are in what box. So honestly, it's kind of like um, it's kind of like Christmas, except um, yeah, we need to hurry up before the koi dies. So <laughs> um, long story short, we're gonna take um, these boxes right here. Let me uh, let me get this. Whoa, baby boys. Whoa. Tell them, Duke. Everybody say goodbye, other Koi. We'll see you in a minute. So we obviously do have a lot of different things going on at the Raw Fan. We got this whole, I, I feel like this is like the walk of shame. This is like all the projects that aren't finished yet. But trust me, we got a lot going on. Everybody say, um, sorry, future videos. We'll see you guys in a, in a couple months. And of course, Raw Fam, that pond right there isn't actually done just yet. Um, this is like the in-between couple of days that um, that we're actually gonna be setting that pond up. Actually, come here. I want I want to show you guys what we got going on. So we got big red tails, and we have a bunch of other massive fish. Hey, babies, bro. Why do, why do we have this all up here? Um, I wanted to give these guys a little bit of shade. I knew that these fish were gonna be out here around noon, so I wanted to give these guys a little bit of shade. So. You know, they don't basically die. Um, but, you know, that is pretty cool. Those fish are doing really good. And um, I think it's about time to uh, to unbox this koi. Oh gosh, bro. So the koi are already going crazy, crazy. Um, as soon as I go over there, they see me. They're like, hey, 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 hey. Um, can we have some food? All right, babies, I give in. Let's give them some food. Come here, come on. Oh, babies, oh my good. Look at the bait pod, look at the bait pod, hurry. Hello, hello, babies, hello. <laughs> Bro, they're wild, bro. They're like really wild. All right, guys, so I showed this in, you know, last video. Um, this is a automatic feeder, and uh, I'm gonna show you guys feeding these guys real quick. Everybody say, hey, babies. Here we go. Here we go. Everybody eat. <laughs> bro, oh my God, relax. Relax, okay, okay, okay. I'll give you more food, okay? Relax, 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 relax. Oh my gosh, bro, Japanese koi have like another level of being hungry. Like five times a day I feed them and they're still like, bro, you could never feed these koi too much food. All right, so um, speaking of Japanese koi, I, I think we forgot something. It's actually in here. So um, let me see if I can get this koi out of here. Oh, come on, baby, come on. All right, guys, so we have a little knife. Let's, uh, let's unbox this, you ready? You hear that? Come get close, get close. You're gonna hear them. I think they realize that we're finally, they're finally at their new destination. I think they're Yamabuki Ogons. Yeah, they are. They're beautiful. Hey guys, so these are, oh my gosh, yeah. Bro, and it's my Asagi. Oh, bro, this is so cool. All right guys, so I have a couple of Yamabuki Ogons and an Asagi in here. There we go. So beautiful. Woo! All right, guys, so this is, you know, a very special day for me. I've been looking forward to this for a very long time. So the Yamabuki Ogons and the beautiful Asagi. Wow, bro. Those things are gorgeous. Relax, Raw fam. So believe it or not, these Yamabuki Ogons are very beautiful. These are from Izumiya Koi Farm. And um, wow, just look at this. 
Look at this. Oh my God, that koi is phenomenal. That, that thing is beautiful. Over the next couple of months, we're gonna be growing out these gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous koi. Now these things, are going to um, are going to actually yellow up like it, like instantly. Over here in Florida, our water is like more hard. Their water is a lot more soft in Japan, so these koi will darken like instantly. Let's see if we can get these guys going a little bit. I basically want to instantly put them inside the pond, though. I, they don't need much acclimation. They're very big and strong and powerful koi, and uh, they don't need much. All right, Raw Fam. So it's finally time. I got my sock net. And uh, let's get this asagi. Want to get this beautiful asagi right here first. So grab the asagi, head it first. There we go. Welcome to the raw fam, baby. There she goes. Bro, this is going to be really cool. That was a beautiful Yamabuki Ogon. And honestly, Raw Fam, we got one more left. So, you ready? Relax. So, Yamabuki Ogon, their, their main color is yellow, but they come in a lot of different varieties. Now, you want a Yamabuki Ogon to be like a very, very, very beautiful yellow. You don't want it too dark, but you don't want it too light. Like this koi right here, that's a pretty light yellow, but the reason why we got a lighter color yellow is because when you bring them to Florida, that, that, that water is very hard and it's gonna really, really darken that yellow. So it should be the perfect texture between beautiful and absolutely perfect. We still have two more boxes of koi on the front porch and we gotta go get them right now. So let's, uh, let's get over there, let's do it. The last box we opened, we had two Yamabuki Ogons and a beautiful Asagi. Now, those koi are very pretty, so, so of course, Raw Fam, what do you guys think is gonna be in this box? You ready? Three, two, one. Oh my goodness, Raw Fam. Guys, this could be one of the biggest koi we've ever had at the Raw Fam. I'm really excited, so let's grab this beautiful koi. Oh my gosh, bro! This thing is so heavy. Oh, 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 bro, this thing is so big. Oh my goodness. Raw fam. <laughs> I, I don't even know how to, to handle this koi, it's so big. All right guys, so this koi is from Shintero Koi Farm. What a beautiful fish. You guys ready? Go on, baby. Oh my gosh. Relax, relax, relax. Relax, we do not need no jumpers here. Raw fam. <laughs> Bro, she's so beautiful. This is a beautiful sanke. This right here is kind of like a tancho, but I wouldn't consider it a, a tancho sanke. Guys, look how gorgeous this koi is. Now, you can see this would be kind of considered a tancho because the red does not mix in with the other red. This is obviously that darker cherry red that we've talked about in the past. This fish is very pretty. We have like all these different colors and you know, this fish is definitely beautiful, but I think it's about time to get her in the big pond. I don't want to, you know, leave her out here too long. She did have a big trip. Come here, baby. Come on. Wow. She is definitely the biggest koi in this pond by far. Raw fam, we have one more box of koi. Let me let me think. What do I have? Oh, I have the tonchos. Oh, guys, I have the Japanese flag inside of those boxes. So I'm really excited now. Bro, I think I have like three tonchos in there. I'm not sure. All right, Raw fam, so these are gonna be Kohaku tonchos. So that basically means red and white. The head is going to have a toncho on it. The rest of the body is going to be white. All right, so this koi is acting up. All of the other koi are fine. Um, the water temperature is a little bit different. This water is a little bit colder. So I'm gonna work with this fish just a little bit more. I'm gonna float the other fish. Um, the other fish look really strong, really happy. That's why I didn't float them. This is my slower acclimation process. Mm. 
So we just got done floating these fish. You could see before he was real like a reddish from being transported. Now he's like a like a very pretty white. So he's ready to go. He's not stressed out. Go baby. And yet again, welcome to the raw fam. Let's get it. Here we go, raw fam. Most of these koi are doing amazing. So Shout out to Fitz Fish Pond and Shintero Koi Farm. Thank you very much for getting all of my fish home, you know, safe to me. I really appreciate it. Um, these fish are beautiful. Just look at them, bro.